But what if the length is equal to the capacity? Well, then we have to grow the underlying array. And let's take a look at that code. So firstly, we are going to create twice as much space. We're going to double the capacity. And we are going to call a variation of the malloc function. This function is called realloc and it takes two arguments. It takes the current base address and how much memory in bytes you want. And then it makes a request to the operating system to create that much space, this new amount of space. And so it's saying the new value of list arrow values is whatever memory address is returned by realloc. Once again, this might fail. And if it fails, this will return. But this AI generated code is dangerous. Why? Because if our realloc fails, we will lose all the memory that we had. So this particular version of the append function will disastrously fail if we try to add a new item and there is no memory. We might wish to make a new version of the append function that is a little bit safer. If the append fails, this should somehow indicate that failure. Again, I'm going to leave this for you as an exercise. Try and work with your generative AI and make a safer version of this. For now, I'm simply going to comment here that uh, this error handling uh, should be done, should be added, right? Okay, but we have done at this point all the functions that we promised to have, an empty list, a len, an index, and an append function. Let's write a main program to actually test this out. What would this kind of syntax look like?